Next thing I will do is to knit the sleeves and uh, I will begin to cast on for the cuff and I do it in the exact same way as I did the body of the sweater. I make a slip knot and here I have my five knitting needles size six millimeters I hold hold my needle in my left hand yarn like this in my right hand and I use my index finger as before to make a loop knitting needle on top and down to the tip of my index finger up through the loop and I slip it onto my knitting needle I go from underneath and up and twist to make the loop around my index finger knitting needle on top down to my the tip of my index finger up through the loop like this and I just keep going in this case until I have eight stitches on my first knitting needle and then I find my next needle I place it underneath like this and I just hold it and I keep going the same way and I make sure the first stitch I cast onto the next needle that it ends up really close to the last one. This is to avoid gaps uh, when I begin to knit. So now you just continue until you have all your stitches evenly distributed on four needles and then we will begin to knit. I have now finished my cast on and I have organized so that my the needles uh, the needle I'm going to knit and the one I have just knitted is on top. This way it's easy to work with. And um, I will knit ribbing um, and I will twist knit one and twist purl one all the way around. And when I um, just to I do this on the body of the sweater also so you can watch that uh, as well to see my explanation there maybe it's better than this one but when I knit I stick my needle in this way I pick up the yarn and I bring it through the stitch like this and I uh, slip it off the needle when I twist knit I instead of going from here I go in the middle of underneath here I stick my needle through here this way instead and then I pick up the yarn and I slip the stitch onto my other knitting needle uh, when I purl I go underneath the yarn like this and I go up through the stitch but when I twist purl I begin the same way underneath but then I just I go down through the stitch so it whether it's just a regular knit stitch or a twist knit stitch uh, it just has to do with the uh, how you pick up this stitch. This will be a knit stitch and this will be a twist knit stitch. And when I purl, this will be a purl stitch and this will be a twist 
purl stitch. So it's you knit the stitches the same way, it's only uh, how you pick up the stitch from your left needle. And um, now the first row is always a bit tricky, especially with this kind of yarn. So, but anyway, you just keep going like this. all the way around and you continue to do so until your cuff has the required length. Here is my finished cuff and uh, you can see that um, because I have twist knitted all the stitches these um, bands here of knit stitches they are quite narrow and uh, it makes the cuff a bit tighter so that even though I am knitting with this kind of yarn and thick needles I will have quite a firm cuff and not a really wide and and sloppy one so next thing I will do is to begin to knit the sleeve and um, uh, I will do I will do it in the same way that I did the body of the sweater. Uh, it will be a pattern that um, includes four rows and the two first rows uh, so uh, sorry that's four I repeat four rows all the, uh, row one, two, three, four and then I just repeat that uh, for the entire sleeve. Uh, the first two of those rows are just knit stitches, so I will knit all the way around. Uh, I will I will move up one uh, size needles from six millimeters and to seven millimeters, and I will just knit for two rows and. During this first row, I will increase uh, six stitches evenly distributed on this row. And when I increase, I pick up the yarn between two stitches and I place it onto my left needle like this. And I want to twist knit this as well, because if I just knit it, I will have a big hole. So. I do as I, uh, as I showed you before, I stick my knitting needle in here instead and I switch places and then I knit. And now you can see there's a much smaller hole here and when I knit the next stitch it's already gone. So I will continue to do this throughout this row. I will make one more here. And when I have finished I will knit one more row and then I will get back to you with the next two rows of the pattern. Now I have knitted the two first rows of my pattern and that is just two rows of knit stitches and um, the next two rows I will purl and knit and purl and knit every other stitch and I will do this for two rows in the same way I did on the body of the sweater. I will make sure that um, in the next row that my knit stitches and purl stitches get 
they end up in the same place. So I purl the purl stitch and I knit the knit stitch and so on. So I will do two rows of this and then two rows of knit stitches again and I will just repeat this throughout the entire sleeve. And uh, there are several increases uh, to make the sleeve wider uh, as you go and when I increase I take uh, here is the beginning of the row and for the next increases I will increase on each side of the first stitch of the row so when it's time to increase I will knit this first stitch I will make one the same way I did before and I knit the entire row and after the last stitch here I will make one again and how many increases and how often you make them will be stated in uh, the recipe that I will post on the blog or if you use another uh, recipe to make just a similar swe sweater you just follow that so now I will continue to knit my sleeve and I will get back to you when it is time to finish it now I have finished most of the sleeve the rest will be done uh, when the sleeve is attached to the body of the sweater uh, I have done all my increases and I have made sure that I have knitted two rows where I knit one purl one that is the last thing I have done so the next thing to do now is to knit two rows with knit stitches only and reason why I do that is because it will be a bit easier to match the pattern when attaching the sleeves onto the body. So uh, this is my first stitch in the row. All my increases has been on each side of this stitch and when and now I will cast off some stitches uh, to make a hole to go under your arm uh, that will be closed later and um, I will cast off equal amount of stitches on each side of this one in this particular case it will be 15 stitches in all that will mean 7 stitches on this side, 7 stitches on this side plus this one and that will be 15 and when I cast off, I knit the two first stitches, then I take the first stitch and slip it over the second. I knit one more and I slip the first stitch over the second. Now I have cast off two stitches and I will keep going three, four, five, make sure you don't do it too tight, six, seven, if you cast off too tight you'll lose elasticity, you don't want that. So now I have cast on the first stitch and then seven. So now I will just continue to knit and when I get to the end of my row here I count to see when I have seven stitches remaining then I will begin to cast off all of those seven stitches and when I have done so, my sleeve is ready to be attached onto the body of the sweater. 
and you just do it in the exact same way in the second sleeve. <laughs> 